Hey guys, Big Ben Motor Vlogs here. Uh, today I want to talk about um, security because I've been hearing quite a bit recently about obviously bikes being stolen and things like that. It's not very nice, is it? Especially when you see a picture of <laughs> of an MT125. Yeah, this is re <laughs> this has been recently stolen. You're like, no, I hate seeing bikes being stolen. Not being stolen. Heard about them being stolen, sorry. <laughs> I know where all the bikes are. Um, that's why I still dance each other. Um, yes, I hate. Uh, yeah, so, I'm well, I'm obviously in Clasley. Obviously. And uh, we do have some thefts around here. Not a great deal, no. Um, you still hear of them. But they're not a big deal around Clashley wise. You hear a lot about them in Swansea. A lot about them in Swansea. Um, just being stolen out of people's gardens. Which is which is crazy. Uh, you know, sometimes in the day, you just say, holy Christ. Now you think about it, you know, it is quite easy obviously to pick up a bike and away you go if you've got a few people. You know, like me, I always like <laughs> for some reason watching you know, bike crashes things like that which i shouldn't like should i no not even no i shouldn't like bike crashes but uh <laughs> but you know bikes being stolen you know i've seen a couple of videos on them it's not nice watching see it watching them like that but you know, just by watching them uh you can actually see you see a trend on how things are being stolen you know lack of security on their bikes uh put them in places where there is a bigger risk of them being stolen, you know, back alleys, um, in the gardens with no security in the front garden, you know, it's, you know, that's sort of like the trend that you see. Now, the, you know, where my bike is situated at the moment, you know, when it, when it goes to sleep at night, um, it's not very cosy when it sleeps at night though, because my bike is outside, uh, but my bike is in my garden which is fenced off uh, which will be soon uh, they're slatted so you can actually see through but soon they are putting new fences up so they're going to be uh, you're not going to be able to see through them which would be a hell of a lot better for me uh, but currently obviously it's in a locked garden so a lock gate and it's a big tall gate so it's not a small one uh, it's about a six foot gate and with that then obviously it's chained to a uh, washing line, <laughs> so the front wheel is chained to a washing line. So the washing line is concreted in, so it's not too bad. And then I got a chain around the back wheel with a cover over it. So I haven't got a garage, I haven't got a shed, it's just sort of like situated outside, which to be honest isn't that bad. isn't too bad. You know, I, I haven't had any trouble with a bike being in the back garden. No one's. I always dream about it. Because <laughs> people with bikes, I don't know whether it's just me, I do dream a lot about my bike being stolen. Which I shouldn't because then it worries me. <laughs> um, that's what I hate about it really. That's what I hate about owning a bike is for some reason just worrying that it's going to be stolen one day. The problem is because this is on finance, same as I think one vlogger had his bike stolen. Do we have No, it's not. Uh, it's got Dan in the name. Damn it. Um, I've recently subscribed to... Oh, I can't remember his name is. Uh, when you hear me, he obviously had his um, KTM stolen. But that was on finance. And he still and he still has to pay for it. My, oh, Christ. So whenever I go out, you know, like today, you know, I'm sitting on the bike for most of it. Uh, it's going to be sitting outside probably JT's, which is all bikes anyway. It's going to be sitting out, outside MP's, which is all bikes anyway. Uh, and then it'll be sitting outside of Tesco's, which is, it's outside the cafe bit with Tesco's anyway. So pretty much you got a lot of people looking at it. So it's really it's nowhere that a lot, you know, that, that it's, not, it's not hidden around a corner or behind a bush, something like that, that can somebody can go, oh, I'll lick that. Because it's, like it's easy enough just to pick the bike up, you know, if you've got four people, pick the bike up, shove it in the back, off you go. So it's not, it's not difficult. 
So, you know, what security do I carry around with me today? I haven't got any on me. I know I probably should, but the only... Well, yes, okay, I carry one bit of security with me, but it's built into the bike. Which, what that is, is the... Uh, is the... Um, the, 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 the steering lock. That's the only thing that I've uh, got on me. Which is fine, you know, which is, you know, it's not it's not a bad thing just to have that on. But, uh, what should I go? JTs, MMPs, yeah. Because I've gone a completely different way to what I should have. But, uh, <laughs> ah! um, but I, yeah, I probably should be carrying a bit more security on me than just my standard lock kind of thing, you know. But anyway, uh, you know, at night I've got plenty of things on me at night. Obviously, if I'm going to leave my bike somewhere such as work, then uh, I've got my um, I've got my chain on me, which is always in work anyway. So that chain is constantly in work, so I don't have to carry it around with me. Just lock it up, lock it out, and then it's fine. I haven't had any, any problems there. I've been keeping that there for about yeah, about two and a half years now. Never had a problem once. So I'm quite happy. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, if you have, have, a, have a proper think about your security, uh, what do you have, you know, what could you improve it? Of course, I could get some um, better quality, better quality chains, better quality locks. You now, I use just the year locks, but I obviously could get much better quality than that. But, uh, yeah, but have a think of what you got, how you could improve it, and, you know, how, how much is your bike worth to you? Thanks for watching guys, I will uh, see you again very very soon, bye bye.